Hands down, one of the best plugins for WordPress is called Slider Revolution. It's a slider plugin that's going to make your site really stand out. It looks really neat and it makes the slides not the ordinary ones that just go one in another. It looks really amazing. And once you watch this video, you're going to see that for yourself. Now, there's a Black Friday deal going on right now. So do check out that link in the description. So let's go check out Slider Revolution what's up everyone like i said we're going to check out slider revolution and if you want to check out the deals going on right now link will be provided in the description plus an additional coupon code that will also be in the description now one of my main recommendations for slider revolution is that you actually jump into their site and jump into the templates section now why would i say this because the templates that you're going to check out are actually really amazing now they've spent several hours of hundreds of hours building these templates so you have a really nice looking ones that you can use now to check these out i recommend that you jump all the way down here or jump into the template section and scroll down once you jump here go down over here and you're going to find out that there's a search bar right here so if you're searching for a specific niche or a one page side a slider a hero carousel special effects and check out the ones that they have you can check these out before even buying it so you can see the potential of slider revolution now check out these new templates that they've just launched so this one is the symmetry one. Let me go ahead and refresh it so you can see how it's actually going to load. Check this out. That looks really nice and flashy. Now we can wait for this to change or we can jump into the next page. So I'll go to the next section. Well, the next slide, actually. Look how nice these look. All right. And if I move my mouse around here, you can see that the background is actually moving. So it's pretty cool, right? Now, the next one that they have that they just launched is the chocolate one right here. So let me go ahead and refresh it again. Check this out. Even from the beginning, you're kind of looking at a page that looks really great. So again, if I hover over my mouse, it moves around. And if I go to the next slide, check that out. Check this out. Or if I just scroll down, I go to the page like normally would. Or I can keep checking out the slider, okay? Now let's check out the next one, which is Lewid. This one right here, Cyberflow. Let me go ahead and refresh it. Again, I really like how they really start and how they move around and how they flow. That's really great. Now, the next one I want to show you is this one. Here we go. So this was like a dark fader one move around. There's a little dark light on the on the background. So it looks really nice. Now, how difficult is it to build these kind of sliders? It's not that difficult, right? It's kind of like a video editor. OK, so this is my WordPress site where I have slider revolution installed. And let me go jump into my slider plugin, which I have installed already. And you're going to be greeted like this. OK, so you got your blank module. So that means that you start from scratch. And of course, that's going to take you more time to build a really nice looking slider. But I would recommend using some of the templates. So if I jump into the templates, here we go. They just loaded and I can view all the templates right here. I can view them if I want to know how they actually interact and they move. Or I can go ahead and just select it and see that this is the one I want to use. So the astronaut one that we just watched, I can go ahead and watch it again. I can favorite this to maybe use it later on or click on this little plus button. So I need to install some of the modules for this. So the mousetrap add-on and the slider revolution, the cluster add-on. So I'm going to install this one and it adds those add-ons to it. So it's not going to install a bunch of plugins if you don't need it. What's well, that plugins? It's add-ons. So it's not going to, I'm going to install them unless you need it. So here we go. Here it is. I'm going to click on the pencil button and here we go. Let me go just remove this getting started guide. And like I said, this is like editing a video. So on the bottom, we have a timeline where I get to edit this. For example, if I click right here and I'm going to click play, you can see how it scrolls and how these elements are going to appear as I am going to play this. OK, now I can move all these around. I can delete them. I can edit them. I can do a lot of stuff with them. So, for example, this one, if I want to change the timing for this particular element, if I want to get rid of it, if I want to move it, if I want to make it smaller, and I get the options on the right for the element. For example, click right here. Let's click on, click on this one. And on the right, we have all the options for this particular element. OK, so you can go through all of these and basically fine tune it the way you actually like it. Changing the font, the style, the timing, the movement, etc. Do it all from here. So it's super easy. But what if you want to add an element? Well, just go into add layer. You can add text, images, buttons, shapes, videos, etc., all from here. If I add a text, for example, boom, it adds it here. And then I just go to the editing of all these options for this particular element. OK, so it's super easy. I'll just click delete and it's gone. OK, I can view the slides from here. I can go back to the main section and have all the options to edit right here. And once you like it and it's fine how you built it, go ahead and save it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and preview this. 
Here we go. Looks good. OK, all I have to do is copy the embed code. So the embed code, I'm going to copy it and just insert it on any page that I want to use it for. So you don't have to particularly use it in one single page. You can use it in every page that you want or create different type of slides for different type of pages. So if I go to pages right here and I'll just edit uh, this one with Dibby, which is what I'm using on this particular page. And like I said, I grabbed the code right now, so I'm going to just insert it somewhere. OK, so I'll insert it in this section. I'll create a full width section code. There is full width code. I'm going to paste my code. It's now loading. Here it is. OK, so this is embedded in between. All right. But if you had this on the top, you can actually view it move just the way we have it. So if I go to preview this, so it's going to start off with one of the slides I already have. Look at this. Looks really nice. This is actually started a revolution. So I'm going to scroll down to the page. Here we go. And here it is. Here's the slider we just embedded. So we just created right, that right now with the template embedded with the code and we're good to go. So it's just as easy as that. So do check it out. Like I said, there's a Black Friday deal that you want to check out in the link in the description. And basically that's a wrap for Slider Revolution.